What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're taking a look at this super cool Micro Light by Flagstaff travel trailer. They do a lot of really, really great things over at Flagstaff, and you're gonna see a sample of that when you take a look at this thing, because it has a really cool floor plan as well. Hang tight, I'll be right back. As always, let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating, relatively light, 6,794 pounds. It's going to have twin 3,080 pound axles. It's going to ride on 14 inch D-rated tires. And it's going to have a dry weight of 5,065 pounds, total length 23 feet 10 inches long. So this unit is actually pretty dang light and compact. From a towability perspective, with almost 7,000 pounds worth of gross vehicle weight rating, 1,670 pounds worth of cargo capacity, and a dry weight again of 5,065 pounds. This is half ton towable if you're very careful with how much weight you actually load into it. So that's just what you have to be cautious of. You have to be careful of how much weight you're gonna throw in this, and then you have to be sure that you have the right half ton truck with max tow package and all the capabilities. Because even though this isn't super long, it is actually pretty dang tall. So this is gonna have a very, very interesting wind profile and it can absolutely dictate how you tow if you have the wrong tow vehicle. Anyways, we're gonna step inside of this first, then we'll come back out and see what the outside is all about. 2024 Flagstaff Microlite. And this is the 22 FBS. So there's a front bed unit. Let's check it out. Okay, so right off the bat, you can tell we have a refrigerator right here. We have some storage right here as well. This is kind of like your pantry, which is actually really nice. Coming inside, you have your Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator. This is a good size refrigerator, much larger than I would have thought, you know, considering the size of this unit. You have your bathroom back here, good size medicine cabinet, nice sink area. It's a pretty large basin sink right here, which I think a lot of people like, but they still give you a good amount of countertop space around it. A little bit of storage underneath. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Open up the corner shower. Very nice shower. That's cool. Give you a little area for accessories up here. Plus this does have the shower miser. Basically it recirculates water so you don't have to waste any water waiting for it to get hot. That's a lot of storage. Honestly, this is a lot more storage than I expected to see in this unit. Folks over at Flagstaff are rocking it. I mean, they're doing a really good job. Let's swing around. You'll get to see the price on this unit. It has an MSRP of $50,287. Sale price of $35,245. So even though MSRPs don't seem like they're dropping much, these sale prices are pretty dang aggressive now because you're getting $15,000 off in terms of sale price, which isn't bad. Really nice cabinetry. The folks over at Flagstaff do a just a great job with the interiors of their RVs. Here's your control panel right here. It's all still covered with the, the plastic protective covering. 30 amp solar charge controller up here. Nice little sink straining system with this stainless steel piece right here. I always like to talk about some of their interior features. 1800 watt inverter, shower miser, 1500 BTU air conditioning unit. That's really nice. 200 watts worth of solar on the roof. So that's a question a lot of people probably would have asked. Solid wood cabinet doors and hinges and drawer glides. So that's also really nice. Aluminum bed frame. Much larger stove than you would typically get in this size of unit. And a porcelain foot flush toilet. This has a three burner gas cooktop. Some people watch my videos and are like, that's a four burner. Well, it's clearly a three burner. This is from Magic Chef. Nice drawers. You can tell, hardwoods, plywoods. This is exactly what I expect to see when I look at a travel trailer. I love the number of drawers that they give you here. And they still give you some cabinets up top, which is really nice. But in so many RVs, they forget that kitchens need drawers, and this has drawers. And they have another thing that I absolutely love to see in a kitchen, and that's a flip-up countertop. I mean, most manufacturers wouldn't have put that there. They would have just left that as a blank area, but here at Flagstaff, they put things like this, which are very nice, very different. Little storage area right there. You have a compact fireplace over here. 
You have your Magic Chef microwave as well as a Connex TV already in place, and it is a smart TV. Swinging around. You have your theater seating directly across with wireless charging port right in the center. These are designed for little tables, so you can put little tables that swing out and go over your lap and you have the ability to eat in place, which is really nice. Looks like you can even adjust the height of them a little bit. You have some more storage here above the theater seating. Then you have a little bit of storage here in the center. And something I like is when I see TVs and couches across from each other, so you can actually see it instead of craning your neck one way. So I do like that. Here's your Coleman Mach air conditioning unit. Again, 15,000 BTU. Let's look behind the curtain. This is a really nice front bed unit. Queen size mattress. Look at that. They even finished it off with drawers at the bottom. And they pull out really far. Probably pick the bed up. Look, they even put a handle to pick the bed up. Who does that? Got more storage right here. Your pass-through storage is going to be up here, too, so that's one reason why you see it like that. Really nice nightstands, complete with 110 and USB charging. This side doesn't get a drawer. This side does get a drawer. If you need USB charging over here, you're going to have to put an adapter in that wall. Again, really nice, fully extending drawers. Good amount of wardrobe space. Honestly, this is a really cool floor plan. Something else I really like as well. Blackout blinds. A lot of RVs still are using pleated blinds, and I love the blackout blinds. But as I pan around here, just check it out. This is a really great couples unit. A lot of people ask, what's a great couples unit? What's something that's relatively light? Something I can tow with a properly equipped half-ton truck? This is the unit, and this is super cool, and it's actually relatively affordable, considering some of the things you're also gonna see on the outside. Anyways, let's hop outside of this unit and see what it's all about. All right, working our way from the front to the back. You have your power front tongue jack, a spot for two 30-pound propane cans versus 20-pound propane cans you see on a lot of RVs. So that is super cool. Two 30-pound cans. That's a lot of propane. A box that holds two batteries. That is awesome. Working our way back. And you have a solar connection right here, which is generally designed just to charge your house batteries whenever you have it in storage. Nice slam latches here. Doors aren't super thick, but you have one heck of a pass-through storage. And these are those tabletops I was telling you about earlier that go in next to the sofa or the love seat. Really nice. Scissor style stabilization front and back. You have a little rail right here which is designed to hold like a barbecue pit or one of the little grills that come with this. A bracket for an outside TV, 110 outlet, cable connection outside of your furnace, Goodyear endurance tires. And this RV also utilizes something that's really nice and that is torsion suspension. Check that out. So torsion suspension system is not your traditional leaf sprung suspension. It can be a more reliable system and it can be a smoother system, but there's not going to be any equalization across the axles because it's independent axle control. So basically each axle is completely independent of each other. Put some of their features right here. Complete composite wall construction, so they use Asdel, which is really nice. 5 8 tongue and groove floor, laminated full walk on roof, aluminum frame. Let's see what else we have here that's important. Comes with a WineGuard 360 uh, antenna, which is prepped for Wi Fi. The 200 watt solars with an 1800 watt inverter 30 amp charge controller. Tire pressure monitoring system, that's awesome. Goodyear Endurance tires, Torflex Dexter uh, torsion suspension. I mean, you're seeing a lot of really, really nice things that are included on RVs, and the prices have started to come down, which is also really nice. Coming around the back, all LED lighting, four inch tubular bumper to throw your sewer hose in. You got your walk on roof up here. It is prepped for a Furan wireless backup camera. You got your spare tire back here as well. Probably an outside shower, I'm guessing. Yep. Then you have your receiver down here for an accessory rack. Over here, you have your wet bay area. So this is where your tank flush, this is where your city water is gonna come in. And this is your antifreeze inlet for winterizing the coach, which is really nice. 30 amp connection outside of your water heater. Rack and pinion slide, so that's really nice as well. Frameless windows. I mean, this checks a lot of really great boxes and you're getting it for a pretty dang affordable price, to be honest. This is where you're gonna fill up your water tank with fresh water and the other side of your storage. 
this is pretty dang cool. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your opinion on this. I absolutely love it. I think the weight, I think the amenities, I think how they're equipping it, the features, definitely make this a good value. Anyways, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon. And drop a comment below. I'd love to know what you think.